Hi, this is Shelly Copeland, um, analyst affiliate broker for First Realty. Um, thank you for coming along with me on this tour um, that I am doing for a client for 7225 South Smith Chapel Road in Cookville, Tennessee. And coming up the driveway here, you can see that it is um, the, the property runs just slightly on either side of this gravel road, which um, you would also own. And coming up to the house, it's a very impressive house. The pictures do not really do it justice. Um, the road from the, that it comes off of is right off of Hillham Highway or Standing Stone Highway, they call it. And um, as you're pulling up, um, it, I'm driving. I'm going to drive right up to the garage. Um, the front of the house is uh, it's it's winter time, so you know the grass is. Uh, they had sown grass so that the wind had uh, kind of wreaked havoc on it. Uh, but um, the garage has windows. Um, there's outdoor black wrought iron um, light fixtures. And um, the property line runs uh, along the side and the back. You can see from the aerial plat map. And later on when I'm in the bedroom, you can see that I'm, I zoom in and that you can see the barn from the outside um, window. I'm not sure how I got in here to the kitchen. I um, was supposed to start out in the front door at the front door but uh regardless uh huh, this is in the, it's in the middle of the uh the kitchen here and you can see where the front door is though when i turn around here um there's a formal dining room and it's just uh it's kind of an open concept with the exception of that one little area there um there's a pantry here for the kitchen uh it's not the shelves weren't in there yet um but it looks to be uh, that's where the refrigerator goes. Oh, there's a great shelf there with cabinets. Great uh, custom cabinet work in there. Quartz countertops. Um, very well, good craftsmanship on the island and all of the cabinets. There's actually a electrical outlet there inside that. I really like that idea. Um, like I said, just really good craftsmanship on the drawers. Um, quartz, you can't do, you know, you really can't, uh, can't go wrong with, uh, the fixtures in this house. It was uh, all custom touches. Um, pull out drawer for the trash cans. And great, uh, double stainless steel sink. Um, there's room for your stove. And then I love the way that she did the, the, the shadow boxes on top of the cabinets. But I love the shelves there where you can showcase plates or, you know, whatever you wanted to put on the shelves. But it looks really nice the way that she had kind of sort of dressed it up a little bit. Uh, plenty of open light. Uh, really good fixtures everywhere. Honeywell smart um, thermostat. Here's the return vent. This is... um. Bed, the, the, there's two bedrooms here with a half bath there for your guests. And then there's a bathroom that connects the two bedrooms on the, it's a split bedroom plan. So on this side of the house, you've got, you know, a guest bathroom here with, which I, with a half bath, which I love. Because who wants the guests going through your medicine cabinet or whatever. But um, here is the, I guess the first um bedroom uh, besides the master the master's on the other side of the house um again you can see the barn in the backyard from this bedroom great uh, windows and natural light and all of the bedrooms in this house are pretty good size they have a, and i think that you're able to choose your carpet color here in the bedrooms because there is carpet in the bedrooms um there's tile in here and a great um cabinet for the bathroom lighting new fixtures um you know everything was really kind of top of the line uh, made and built you can tell that this was not just a you know the doors were all uh top of the line they, they, there wasn't a, a lot of you know brand new houses you can still you find things wrong not, not in this one i just really didn't see nothing stood out to me um, and like I said, I love the way that the, the, the two, um, other bedrooms, bedroom two and three, I guess we could call it, 
is joined by this bathroom with a full tub and shower combo. Um, and then you've got on each side, they've got their own um, bathroom with a closet and a sink. So they really, you really, those two bedrooms really just shared the shower and the, and the, uh, and the, and the potty room. So you have your own place there to get ready, have your makeup, have your whatever stuff. Um, I really love that whole concept. Um, nice size closets throughout this house. Um, and then here's bedroom, I guess you could say two or three, wherever you want to. I guess this would actually be bedroom two because it's the closest to the front of the house. So, um, there's a door closing uh, from both sides. And then, like I said, both sides have a vanity, I mean a cabinet, uh, bathroom cabinet, with, um, do uh, you know, doors and drawers that open. Plenty of storage space in there. And great uh, size cabinets throughout. Um, their bedrooms are pretty much identical. And you got plenty of natural light windows throughout. Really good quality windows. Energy rated. Um, I actually got a close up at the end of this video that has a sticker with the um, manufacturer of the windows. And again, going back out, just showing you how the layout of the house is. The very small um, hallway there. So you've not got any wasted space here. You don't have any long hallways. Every square every inch of the house is kind of used with the exception of that one very small hallway there uh, connecting the two bedrooms with the half bath i love 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 the front door with the two side lights uh, it's very impressive all of the lighting fixtures and um workmanship like i said you know the the the, the bases the, the um the baseboard the flooring the fixtures lighting fixtures the doors everything in this house is just uh you know, it's it's for it's 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 definitely custom, and um, it's t you know it's all top of the line. Like I said, the um, the pictures really don't do it justice. I thought this was such a cool feature, like a little bread box or whatever, and it ain't, and that even has a electrical outlet inside of it. And of course, the living room there, it's open to. I mean, the kitchen's open to the living room or the great room, and there's also a double French door there. Um, out onto the um, back deck that has a vaulted ceiling. So there again, plenty of natural light coming in there and through the master. So this right here is the slash workout room, you know, slash um, laundry. And then coming into the master here, again, another French door with uh, uh, the, the uh, glass uh, doors. A really good size master bedroom. Um, great ceiling fans. Like I said, all the fixtures are, are top of the line. Um, and as you go to, as you can see out, um, I think I'm going to show you right here that you can, I'm going to show you going outside so you can see the deck from the master. You can also see the two doors there coming from the great room. Vaulted ceiling, ceiling fan, and future plans to put a railing and steps down, um, here. So that will be done, completed before, um, you know, the, the actual build is completed. I'm going to zoom in on the second window and show you that the, just past that tree line is the barn that goes with the property. Um, fixing to zoom in, I think right here. Yep. And you can see it. It was really, really cold today or I would have, uh, went down there to the barn for you. Um, but I know that you guys are visiting Tuesday. So I think that, um, I think that will be fine. I think you guys were just really wanting to see how the house was laid out. Um, another, like I said, the ceiling fans, um, this is the master bath. Um, it had, it has two closets on either end of the, of the bathroom. And then his and her sinks. Um, really nice cabinetry and, uh, cab bathroom cabinets. Great walk-in closet on both sides with windows for natural light. And they both have lights. All the lighting in here was great. There's a light above the the bath and there's a great window outside the potty room is separate with a door and it's really more room there than what it looks like um, when you actually visit it, it just the, the, like I said the pictures really do not do it justice I love the bathtub um, and then the shower is definitely you can it's definitely uh, supersized uh, 
You can walk inside of it. I, I had a better video of actually. There was a seat in the shower. I had some other videos that I did. I kind of was going to piece it together. But I don't think uh, those other ones just really weren't weren't all that great. So, um, and Then here's the other closet on the other side. Like I said, all of them have a light and a window. And then you have his and her sinks. The bathtub in the in the middle. Huge walk-in shower with a seat. Separate potty room. And then when you off of here is your laundry room. Has a has a sink. And there's also an extra area here that could be your storage. Could be for workout. Could be for whatever. Um, that goes to the garage, and then that door right there on your right, which I, I'm about to show you, goes downstairs to the partial basement, which is also could be a storm cellar, wine cellar, you know, whatever. Um, when I'm by myself, I typically do not go down into dark spaces or basements. Um, there's a picture of it. It's really just a partial, um, you know, and, and the picture is just a, as it is. So, I'll let you uh, look at that on the picture on the MLS. Um, it's a LiftMaster. Um, Garage door, two-car garage, again, windows in the garage, there's natural light everywhere, lift master, um, and then I'm going to show you the electrical panel, followed by the windows, just in case that's something that you might uh, be interested in. Here's the windows. You want, I mean, Of course, you can always pause the video, anything you want to take a closer look at. Everything should be really good resolution and allow you to, you know, pause, stop, or whatever you want to do so that in case you want to, you know, investigate or look at something a little bit closer. Thank you for taking this tour with me, and I look forward to talking with you guys on Tuesday. Um, if you would like, please like the video and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out, and I will see you guys soon. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do between now and Tuesday. Take care. Thank you very much.